All right, Algebra 1 class, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Martin here. We're going over, continuing what we were working on uh, last week. Uh, we're going to work on exponential uh, functions, but I want to go a few things first. This week, today is Monday. You're going to be watching this video, um, then commenting on it. Tuesday, same deal. Watch another video. We're going to kind of build upon this. We're going to do a power to a product to a power. Um, comment on it. And then Wednesday, you'll have your work packet that I want you to work on uh, for 30 minutes, okay? Get some of that work done, send it back to me so I can know you that you're getting it, that you're understanding it. Uh, and then on Thursday is a catch-up day. <clears throat> Make up work that you owe from the last couple weeks this week, something that you forgot to do, something you didn't finish. Uh, and then Friday is our social-emotional day where you meet with a behavior specialist and our social workers. Okay, so that's what this week looks like. I hope everyone's doing well. We're winding down, we're getting to the end. We have this week of kind of content, next week of content, and then um, kind of a wrap up week, kind of a review week, uh, and then we're done. All right, so we're really getting down to it right now. Let's go over what we're gonna be working on today. So you can see here my learning objectives. Students will be able to utilize the rules of raising a power to a power to simplify exponential expressions. All right, let's review kind of what we went over last time. Last time we talked about if I am multiplying um, two exponents here, x to the fourth times x to the third, what I want to do is I want to add the exponents. So it's a three plus four, or four plus three, and that gives me seven. All right, so we have, so the answer to this one is x to the seventh. Now, instead of multiplying x to the fourth times x to the third, what we're gonna work on is we're gonna raise x to the fourth to a power, all right? So here, I have x to the fourth to the third power. So what does that mean? What is it? It's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's, it sounds kind of strange because you're raising a power to another power. Uh, it seems almost redundant. But let's take a look at what that means. So I can break down x to the fourth to the third power. I'm basically taking x to the fourth and multiplying it by itself three times. So it's x to the fourth, x to the fourth, times x to the fourth. All right? So when I do this, when I look at it this way, I can say, oh, okay, this makes sense now. All I have to do now, if I'm multiplying x to the fourth times x to the fourth, I add the exponents and add the exponents again. So I have four plus four plus four. So that's four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is 16, or oh, sorry, 12. So I end up with 12. So x to the 12, okay? Now, what's an easier way to do this? Is if I look at a power being raised to a power, I can take those two numbers and instead of adding them all out, especially if, I have, if I'm raising it to the 10th power and I don't wanna write it out 10 times and add them all up, all I need to do is multiply, okay? So all I need to do is take the four and the three, four times three, and that gives me my 12. So I have x to the 12th. x to the 12th works out the same way. So let's take a look at what that looks like in some other problems, all right? So I have c to the fifth power to the fourth power. Okay, rather than writing out c to the fifth four times, I'm just gonna take the five and the four, and I'm gonna multiply them. So I have c to the 20th, and then the same thing with the d. Three times two is six d to the sixth, all right? See how we multiplied the five and the four, got 20, the three and the two, got six. Same thing here. x squared to the fourth power, four times two is eight, so I have x to the eighth. And then bring down the rest, because this is into another power. z to the fourth, x squared. Now I want to simplify. I have two x's again, all right? But instead of multiplying them, I'm adding them together because, because they're not to the power. They're actually multiplied by one another, so I just add those together. So I have x to the 